In a heated workshop on elections and the media, the government announced that main opposition citizens coalition for change CCC leader Nelson Chamisa would not receive equal coverage in public media outlets compared to his rival. President Emerson Umnengogwa. The reason cited was Umnengogwa's position as the head of state. CCC has long accused the state media, especially the Zimbabwe Broadcasting Corporation ZBC of neglecting its constitutional duty to provide fair and impartial coverage to all political parties. However, Information, Publicity and Broadcasting Services Deputy Minister Kindness Beredza urged the opposition party to accept the reality of the situation and wait until they assume power to enjoy public media coverage. Beredza stated, we cannot equate President Umnengogwa and Mr. Chomisa. He is the head of state and government, and we should not expect ZBC to treat them equally. He further suggested that if Chamisa were to become the next government, the opposition would witness the treatment firsthand. In the unlikely event that he Chamisa will become the next government, you will see what I am talking about. So can you just relax until you are in government and you will see what we are talking about. Information Ministry Director for Media Services, George Chisoko, supported Paredes' statement, emphasizing that coverage would be provided when Umnengogwa was engaged in government affairs. However, he clarified that political matters related to ZNUPF would be treated differently. The CCC party has repeatedly criticized ZBC's bias in favor of ZNUPF, highlighting the disparity in live coverage between Umnengogwa's campaign rallies and Chamisa's events. Section 155 of the Constitution mandates equal access to electronic and print media for all political parties and candidates during elections. Tempers flared during the workshop when Paredza accused the CCC of instigating hate speech, which allegedly led to the denial of airtime by public broadcasters. CCC's Deputy Secretary for Elections, Ellen Shiri Adenga, intervened, dismissing the claims and asserting that the party does not promote hate speech. While the constitution safeguards equal media access, the opposition continues to face challenges in receiving fair coverage. The ongoing battle for media impartiality raises concerns about the democratic process and the need for transparent and unbiased reporting during elections.